foul is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers. Robbie Gold's got it on the tee. He kicks it off, and here we go from Levi's Stadium. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Sanders to begin the drive. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Ready. Another run here with Sanders. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Third and short, so didn't need much, but got a little extra on the backside. Nice run. Chewed up the yardage, didn't he? To me, that was offensive line with leverage, good blocking angles, taking on a stacked defensive front. And once they chopped that little hole in the beginning, he took it and rambled. And just the third play from scrimmage, wanted to avoid the three and out and did just that. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Play action. Here's Hertz. He's going deep for Brown. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Philadelphia. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. Elliott Good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7 0. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Lance and the 49ers now, first and 10 at their own 25 yard line.
Ready? They'll start with Davis Price on the ground. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes that's a danger, putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies massed in one location. You can wind okay. up with 18, right. 20, maybe even all 22 in the box, and there's nowhere to run the football. On play action, Lance. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The sack there by Brandon Graham coming in and bringing him down to the ground. Two plays so far, a run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. Now after the sack, Lance and the Niners staring up here at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. And this one will wind up being down just outside of that 20-yard line. I feel like you and I could be in our backyard with our dads right now. What did they always say when they were throwing us the ball? Look it all the way in. Make sure you secure it. That had the feeling of not happening there on that play, that he didn't have full control of the ball. When that punt's coming in, I've never returned punts, but I would imagine it's tough to monitor those guys coming full steam ahead at you. It really is. You try and get that peak to know where they are about whether you should fair catch it or not, but sometimes you just have to have a, a sense, a feeling, and just have to make sure, number one, though, you catch the ball and put okay, it away. Ready? The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Second pirate, second pirate. Read the loss, read the loss. Hurt, hurt. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 14 yards there, and an eagle first down. Get it! After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Ready? Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. 
And just not enough on the throw there, down around his feet and incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. They go play action with Hertz. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. We'll see how this one continues. The last run got six, now second and four. Another touch for Davis Price. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just a yard in the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Black shot. Ready, go. Cut, cut. Lance going to try and throw on third down here. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. and company going on fourth down. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. Boy, that was a tough couple of yards to pick up, but they convert on fourth and one. Ready. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith, 27 yards. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. San Francisco yeah. offense ready to start their next drive. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. 
Shotgun now for Lance. Open man is Juwan Jennings. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Davis Price on first and 10. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Got it. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Green Jack. Check you. Uh, Lance now to throw. And this is caught, Jennings. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Well, certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Second and two, first down marker at the five-yard line. Second down, here's Davis Price. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Some good strong running right there, some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Ready? They'll run with Davis Price, and he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and go. goal. Lance going to sneak it, and he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. This Eagle defense, they won't give in without a fight. This is third and goal. Ready, go! Lance going to sneak it. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. The kick by Golden is good. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it, the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with a 14-3 advantage already, we'll see how much they want to try to push things, if at all. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. And he will be out of bounds with no time remaining on what will be the final action of this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. 
Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. The result only four yards there on the play. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Davis Price will try to pick it up. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Well, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe they'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. First down, and they go right back to Davis Price. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to it. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Davis Price once more. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say he'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. 40 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Drill, 52. From midfield, here's Lance. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Brandon Graham able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half ready, off on the right ready. foot. Unfortunately, going to get the ball up. 52. Now after the sack, Lance and the Niners staring up here at a third and long. Hunt, hunt. Here's Lance. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. Ready, set, mega, mega. Lance to throw for it on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do it. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. What a real head scratcher there. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. So first and 10 now from the 30. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. They'll run with Sanders. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So 
They need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here we go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Okay, Second and ten here as we roll along in quarter number three from Santa Clara. To throw, it's Lance. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. It got his man complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. A big connection on that one. 56 yards. And that's going to do it. Clock hit zeros. They're not going to get another playoff. Time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On the ready. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the gun, it's Lance. And he'll just get rid of it. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Six, mega. Red, cycle. Ready, ready. Lance looks to throw again. And this is going to be intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. Probably are going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game, but give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. 
trying to ice a game. Plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. Yeah, this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's got this up to the 28-yard line. All right, I don't want to get too poetic here where they talk about, you know, the eyes being the windows of the soul. You know what else the eyes do? They see the open spaces on a field, and those eyes carry your legs to those spots, and that's what happened on that play. He saw an opening and went and got it. Well, he really hasn't ran the ball all game. Fourth quarter here, need a big play, able to pick it up. So whatever the eyes saw and created, it worked. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Still nine remaining on second down. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Red! Buffalo 18! Cut 19! Cut 19! Hurt sets up to throw it. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. It's been a struggle for him accruing yards in this game, passing the football. So there he said, hey, I'm going to try to chuck it deep, but another incompletion. Has to be a little bit frustrating because of what you just described. It's been a struggle for him here in the second half, hoping for one big shot to get him out of the doldrums. Two. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 14. This is Smith with a grab. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him to like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 72 yards on the ground now for Sanders. He's got a first down. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Right back to Sanders on first down. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. That's Javon Kinlaw busting through, and he sticks him behind the line. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say hey. run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. Another run with Sanders. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. Call it seven yards on the carry, so a pretty good game, but still left with a tough third and eight. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Here's Jake Elliott, career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. This from 54 yards away. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. The Niners take over 
The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Back to back, good plays have them on the move on first down. Lance looking to throw it. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Ready up. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Again, they'll throw it with Lance. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Check match. Now Lance. That one complete to his receiver, Jennings. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Strike. Check. Strike. Check. Desperation time here. Lance completes it to Jennings. He's got the first down and more than that. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.